Hello world. I'm Imagination. Today I am going to talk about how technology will reverse climate change. So, what is climate change? Climate change, also called global warming, refers to the rise in average surface temperatures on Earth. Do you know what causes climate change? The primary cause of climate change is the burning of fossil fuels, such as oil and coal, which emit greenhouse gases into the atmosphere, primarily carbon dioxide. Other human activities, such as agriculture and deforestation, also contribute to the proliferation of greenhouse gases that cause climate change. What are the effects of climate change? Rising sea levels due to the melting of the polar ice caps contribute to greater storm damage, warming ocean temperatures are associated with stronger and more frequent storms, additional rainfall, particularly during severe weather events, leads to flooding and other damage, an increase in the incidence and severity of wildfires threatens habitats, homes, and lives, and heat waves contribute to human deaths and other consequences. So, how can we reverse climate change? A far-reaching energy transformation. In 2025, carbon footprints will be viewed as socially unacceptable, much like drink driving is today. The COVID-19 pandemic will have focused the public's attention on the need to take action to deal with threats to our way of life, our health, and our future. Public attention will drive government policy and behavioral changes, with carbon footprints becoming a subject of worldwide scrutiny. Individuals, companies, and countries will seek the quickest and most affordable ways to achieve net zero, the elimination of their carbon footprint. The creation of a sustainable, net zero future will be built through a far-reaching energy transformation that significantly reduces the world's carbon emissions, and through the emergence of a massive carbon management industry that captures, utilizes, and eliminates carbon dioxide. We'll see a diversity of new technologies aimed at both reducing and removing the world's emissions, unleashing a wave of innovation to compare with the industrial and digital revolutions of the past. Gigaton scale CO2 removal will also help to reverse climate change. A scale-up of negative emission technologies, such as carbon dioxide removal, will remove climate-relevant amounts of CO2 from the air. This will be necessary in order to limit global warming to 1.5 degrees Celsius. While humanity will do everything possible to stop emitting more carbon into the atmosphere, it will also do everything it can in order to remove historic CO2 from the air permanently. By becoming widely accessible, the demand for CO2 removal will increase and costs will fall. CO2 removal will be scaled up to the gigaton level and will become the responsible option for removing unavoidable emissions from the air. It will empower individuals to have a direct and climate-positive impact on the level of CO2 in the atmosphere. It will ultimately help to prevent global warming from reaching dangerous levels and give humanity the potential to reverse climate change. Long-term scenarios all point to rapid and significant investment in renewable energy and energy efficiency as the key to reducing GHG emissions. These technologies include solar and wind power, bioenergy, geothermal energy, and hydroelectricity. Combined, they are capable of supplying several times the world's current energy needs. Solar PV and wind, in particular, have seen substantial growth and progress over the last few years, such that they are currently among the cheapest sources of new power generation. Renewables represented 75% of all new electricity generation installed in 2019, with solar and wind constituting nearly all of that amount. However, fossil fuels continue to dominate world energy supplies. Solar panels and wind turbines turn sunlight and wind into electricity without releasing greenhouse gases. As the technologies have scaled up and converted energy more efficiently, they have come down in price to become cheaper than fossil fuels globally. Electric cars help limit climate change in most of the world except in nations such as India and Poland where drivers recharge batteries with electricity from high-polluting coal-fired power plants, scientists said. We already know that nuclear power is a way of producing electricity free of carbon emissions, but we have yet to harness it in a way that is truly safe and cost-effective. We may be closer to an answer, however. Canadian company General Fusion aims to be the first in the world to create a commercially viable nuclear fusion energy power plant. Fusion produces zero greenhouse gas emissions, emitting only helium as exhaust. It also requires less land than other renewable technologies, says the company. Fusion energy is inherently safe, with zero possibility of a meltdown scenario and no long-lived waste, and there is enough fusion fuel to power the planet for hundreds of millions of years. Making the things we use every day puts an enormous strain on the climate, about 30% of emissions come from industry. But what if we could take those CO2 emissions out of the air? Carbon Engineering is a Canadian startup that is working on exactly that, 
taking carbon dioxide directly from the atmosphere and then using it to produce fuel. According to the company, direct air capture can remove far more CO2 per acre of a land footprint than trees and plants. The company is already running a demonstration planned in Squamish, British Columbia, that is removing one ton of CO2 from the air every day. That's all for today. Thanks for watching.